Hello, John Perry here. This is a pseudo-sphinx caterpillar, which I filmed in the jungles of Tonchigua, Ecuador. This is an iguana, which I filmed a few minutes later. This is a hummingbird that I met in the cloud forest of Mindo, Ecuador. Here's a photo of a glass frog that I met later that night. This is a howler monkey that I filmed in Mampiche, Ecuador. Turns out that he is a boy, and what a boy he is. Here is a harlequin poison dart frog that I filmed just a few minutes after being flashed by the howler monkey. Finally, this here, taking a super touristy photo with me on the top of an Ecuadorian volcano, is my longtime friend Nancy Miarelli. She lives in Ecuador. She is an entomologist. She studies bugs. That's what she does. And as you can see from all of these photos, she's a pretty cool person. Next winter, from January 9th to January 20th, that's 11 days, Nancy and I will join forces to guide a tour, and I hope that you will come along for the ride. We are going to explore six unique ecosystems from the mountains to the coast. If you want, you can even go surfing. In the evenings, on the nights that we don't have a jungle tour, Nancy and I will teach lessons on the ecology and evolution of the local plants and animals. I am extremely excited about this tour. Why January, you ask? Well, because I am currently living in Canada, and I like to escape the winters from time to time. The coolest thing about exploring the jungle with an entomologist, someone who actually studies bugs and knows what they all are, is that she can tell you which insects are safe, safe for you to hold and safe for the insect to be held, and which ones you should probably try to avoid which is pretty cool the first time you're in the jungle. Nancy likes to do a thing that she calls face bug. And if you'd like, she can help you do face bug as well. She'll start you out with something nice and easy. Yes, these are butterflies that I am holding. It looks like a mask, but these are actually two different butterflies that I'm holding in front of my face. And as you get a little bit more comfortable, she'll work you up to, well, whatever your limit just might happen to be. If, uh, Facebook selfies aren't really your thing, that's fine. You can at least grab a photo with Nancy and me at the equator because visiting the center of the world is one of many items on the agenda, which you can see in detail on the tour website linked below in the video description. So, I hope to see you there next winter. Escape the snow with me and come to Summerland. We are going to have a really good time. Hope to see you there. And so Andy said that he found it in the landslide that had just happened. So I wouldn't be surprised if he fell out of his little burrowing spot. He is a casualty of that landslide. Yeah. Well, he's not a casualty. He's still alive. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you see, if you, he was wiggling. Yeah, there he goes. Wiggle, wiggle. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wiggle. Whoa, that's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us where we're going. <laughs> we are going to the volcano Pichincha, which you can actually see, it's right in front of us. Uh, we're going to go into a cable car, and we're gonna go to the top of that. So we're gonna go from about 9,000 feet here at the base to 14,000 feet, and then you can walk around after that up there. So he wants to sit on a leaf? So if he goes there, no one? No, they, they just run. It's like there's their behavior. <laughs> that is disturbing. Can I hold it? Yeah. Just be really gentle with him. But these are these are the wings. These are going to be the wings in here. This is yeah. the abdomen, and it, the abdomen when they hatch is filled up with fluid. It's really thick like this, and that's so they pump up the wings. Uh, wiggle. Ah, it's creepy. <laughs> but be very gentle with him in this stage, so you don't yeah. murderize him. Ow. Digamos, si yo no tengo una carta aquí, 
no la tengo aquí, tiene que, que coger. Uh, solo uno y si no puedes jugar es próximo. Sí, Hello, ladies and gentlemen. John Perry here. I am in Nindo, Ecuador. I'm up in the mountains in the cloud forest. I am staying at an eco lodge, a beautiful place called El Septimo Paraíso. And they've set up for us this bug shade so that we can come out at night and check out some bugs. We're on the beach and we found a dead turtle, and Nancy's poking it with a stick. Ugh. Oh, you just flicked it on me. Alright. Um, Occupational hazard. This guy here is super weird. He's got... Uh, it looks to me like a moth pretending to be a wasp. He's got this iridescent blue and this bright orange. I'm going to try and touch him with my... He looks to me like a moth. Yeah, his, he's definitely a moth. He's got fuzzy antenna, but then he's intimidating like a wasp. For a second there, I thought he had a stinger, but that was actually just his foot. Let's uh, get a good shot at its flippers. See, these flippers are, of course, modified hands. Oh, yeah, there's one, two, three, four. Maybe five? You can feel them in here. Here's one. Here's one. Okay. Two. Three. This is this is a skunk, so I think there's four. Yeah, but there's four. Okay. Sí. Aquí hay ya fruto que en el camino oh, okay. murieron. Mm -hmm. Pero mira, aquí tenemos las flores. Luego aquí ya tenemos el cacao. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, este cacao va a madurar primero que esto. Entonces yo primero voy a cosechar estos, uh -huh. después voy a cosechar estos, y después voy a cosechar estos, uh -huh. y luego lo que sigan. Ya. Es una cucaracha. No, es una cucaracha. It is not a cockroach. It is a beetle. As you can see, most of what we have here is like, you know, brown and moths. And I don't really find brown moths to be all that interesting. I'm sure if I were an entomologist, Nancy, by the way, is not here. She's the entomologist. She's not coming till tomorrow. So, you get to learn about bugs from me, and I don't really know anything about them. But, here is some sort of a really cool golden beetle hanging out. He's pretty cute. I like him. Scarab beetle, I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, this guy looks like a dead leaf. You hear that? He's squeaking. Oh, that's so cool. So Pesalids, uh, this is the adult, this is the be adult best beetle, and they live in logs together, and you often find a bunch of little, like, larvae together. And then if you find one, you usually find several in a log. Oops, I just stabbed myself with a spike. It also has spikes. I don't know why the heck it does this. It makes no sense. Yeah. It seems like a really complicated adaptation for nothing. They have all of this uh, communication through the squeaking, and we know that some of it is to startle predators, but we don't exactly know what the squeaks are in the colony and like how they're talking to each other. When you're nice to a dog in Ecuador, 
they tell their friends. <laughs> this gringo gives out free food to dogs. Did you tell all these other puppies that I gave you food? Is caterpillar. Um, as you see, it is uh, spiny, and each one of those spines can deliver venom, and they will break off in your skin like fiberglass. All of them. How how bad is the sting? Um, it doesn't feel great. I haven't been stung by them personally, but I have been stung by other venomous caterpillars, and it's not great. Like it'll leave a rash. Your skin will raise up. You'll get bumps, and it's best to get some tape and pull out the spines that stick. Because otherwise they're like connected to a venom cell and they'll just continue pumping venom wow. into you. I can show you what the moth looks like. All right, John Perry here. What's it Wednesday? Hello, how's it going? Uh, I just found this pile of crazy stuff that washed up on the beach, including lots of giant sand dollars. That's about five inches long. It's crazy. Anyway. What's a Wednesday? What do you think this guy is? What animal could this be? Here in this tree, there's just so many plants. It's amazing. And there are these roots dangling down. Here. I don't know what they're to. Just the competition of living things here. The fight for space, the fight for light, the fight for existence. It's so amazing. I love it. What a treat for you, the people of YouTube. This is a really weird little spot where there must have been two currents that hit. Uh, pulling up stuff from the deep waters. Here we have what looks like the bottom jaw to the, uh, probably not the same individual, but definitely the same species. Uh, note this giant hole here. That's a dead giveaway as to what species this is, though you probably already know. Um, we are in the ocean. And by the way, both of these animals are tetrapods. One is a mammal, one is not. So hint, hint, hint. This one here has actually made it down to the ground. It's just barely touching this little root. So again, you got all these guys trying to make it down to the ground. This one has succeeded, but has not yet been planted. This one is actually solid in the ground. So amazing. These vines. The camera lens needs a cleaning. Get up, I you have... see this texture on the side mm -hmm. of them? They're really long toes. It's beautiful. Linda or Lindo, Nancy? <laughs> Linda, see you. See, like a tia. Yeah, Linda. Do you want to look, yeah, want to look underneath? It's <laughs> <laughs> just a side. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. He's going somewhere. I think he went up your butt. 